All right, today we're going to be diving into ChatGPT and seeing if it can actually build a podcast website for us using Tailwind CSS and see what we have to do. Spoiler alert, there is going to be some struggles and ChatGPT is not perfect, so we're going to be going through a lot of its deficiencies more than what it can actually do, but it is a really cool tool, so let's get right into it. Build a podcast landing page for a web development podcast using Tailwind. So while it's building this, we're just gonna kind of take a look at what it's building. You can see it's building the HTML structure. The reason we're using Tailwind is so that I only have to copy paste one thing, uh, which will be the Tailwind package, obviously. Uh, it's kind of included it in the link, but we don't need to worry about that because we'll be using CodePen to import Tailwind and all of its functionality. But we're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna see how well it can build a website from just a simple prompt. Now we are gonna be prompting it multiple times to maybe get a couple of different variations, maybe some edits and stuff like that. So it's going to be an interesting experience. Uh, my anticipation, and I just full disclosure, I did try this a little bit on my own. I didn't go full deep into it because I wanted to kind of have a live experience, but my anticipation is it's probably not going to be perfect. <laughs> There's going to be some things that it can't handle very well. And there are some very fundamental limitations of ChatGPT that make it so that if you're not a web developer, it's it's going to be tough to actually implement this anywhere. But we're going to see what it can do. It's taken quite a bit of time here. So I might just kind of shut up and let it do its thing and fast forward. Kind of stopped here. So we're going to have to ask it to continue. So it seems to have done something. We'll see. Uh, we'll have to copy paste it kind of separately, but that's okay. We can obviously handle that. Come on, do that. And then copy paste that. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we can see here that it's kind of made a three section uh, website, three column website, web development podcast. That's what we asked for it. There's no real fundamental body to this, but I think we can ask it for that, right? So what would we need for this is probably a hero. So let's ask it for a hero. That's the next kind of thing that I'm thinking. Uh, create a hero for a hero section for a web development podcast called HTML, all the things using Tailwind. And so we'll see what this creates and how easy it'll be to integrate this hero into our already existing ChatGPT website that we copy pasted in. Now, one limitation that I do want to talk about and one thing that we can see from this is that all the images here are broken. And that's because ChatGPT doesn't have live access to the web. So it's just pretending to have access to the web, which is the best way I can put it. It's thinking that it does, right? So it provides you these kind of kind of realistic looking uh, image URLs, but at the end of the day, they lead to, no to nothing and to nowhere. So you can see here it's using episode one.jpg as if it has that, but what we need to do is actually fill those in ourselves. And that's one part of, or one limitation that ChatGPT has, it can't access the real web. Let's see if it's finished it, looks like it did. So we can just take this section right here and we can go to where we would wanna put it, which is probably right under this web development podcast nav, right? So in this, after this header, we can put this section and we can see that one thing that it, it it's struggling, it's struggling right here. So obviously it wants us to have an image in the background. So why don't we find an image for it? We can go to unsplash. It's not that hard. We can look for some image like uh, code, a lot of images of code. Let's think of something, let's find something that kind of fits our demographic here with a podcast episode. So I don't know, let's see, maybe this, why not this? Uh, let's get a link to this image, copy image address and in our hero section, we will put that image right here. And boom, 
that looks a little bit better for sure. There's some weird, you know, full width button here that we'd have to fix up, but it's looking a lot better in my opinion. Uh, we obviously still have three images for our podcast episode. So for that, we can actually just go to maybe htmlthings.com and take one of our images here. So copy image address, and that might work. So we can just put it into each one and see how it goes. So episode one here, boom. Episode two, let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good, right? Episode three, I, can, I found, I did not find episode two, but I'm sure I'll find it episode two right here. Episode two. And we shall see how it looks. Yeah, okay, so that looks better. Obviously we need to change these images up for each episode, but that's something. Uh, let's see here. This full width button we can probably just remove or fix up a little bit if we wanted to, but for now I think let's just uh, let's just set a width to it with uh, I don't know one half. Let's see what that does. Nah, maybe even less than that. One fourth might be better. There's no padding on the hero, so we probably want to actually add some padding to it. We can actually go back to ChatGPT and ask it to do that. Uh, add some padding. Add some padding to the hero and make the button smaller. Let's see. Let's see how it can handle the next level of asks. Okay, so it finished that. Let's copy the hero again. Now, you'll probably realize that we'll have to uh, re-put in that image, but that's not a big deal for us, right? We can just go copy image address back here and put that image where it needs to go. Let's see here, that would be right here. Easy peasy. So it managed to do some padding, but it did not fix this button. So again, ChatGPT is great. It has a lot of really cool functionality, but it is not perfect, but we can fix that, right? So we can go uh, with one fourth again and see what that looks like. So we can see that we kind of have three sections or two, well, a nav bar, a hero section and listen now section. Uh, what I do want to add is a Spotify embedded section for actually like listening to the latest episode right on the page. So let's do that first. And let's ask ChatGPT to do it. Create a section for the podcast website that allows for a Spotify embedded link for listening to the latest episode. Use Tailwind, obviously. I think it'll already use that, but we'll add that in there. So we'll see what that does. Okay, so it's done that now. So again, it created a section for us. It created even a Spotify embedded link. We'll see where that leads. My guess is nowhere, uh, but it thinks that it knows where it goes. We have to figure out where we actually want to put this section. Let's expand it. I think what I want to do is I want to put it below the hero, but above the, uh, you know, episode section. So let's see the hero, I think goes down to here. We can just put it right above that. Wait for it to load. And boom, we have a page not available. Like I said, it thought it knows <laughs> the Spotify episode, but it's not there, but we do. So we can just go to open.spotify and we can search for HTML, all the things, and we can go to the latest episode. You should check it out, by the way. Can I use this in production? It was a fun one to record. We'll go back here, and what we do here is uh, find that embedded link, and instead of, doo -doo 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 -doo, where is it? Instead of this part episode, we wanna put this, and that should, theoretically, create a, yep, an embedded section with our link. So that is looking a lot better now. Honestly, again, it's not perfect. There's a lot that we needed to do, we need to handhold it. But as a way to kind of get a starting point, uh, scaffolding or a quick demonstration, for instance, at like a conference, this is a really interesting tool and I'm gonna be definitely using it for a lot more to come. So let me know in the comments, contact, get in touch with me on Twitter, whatever, about what you would want to see me try to build again with ChatGPT, because this has been kind of one of the things that I've really enjoyed just fooling around with it. I don't think it's a tool that will replace you anytime soon, but it is something that you can augment into your current daily routine.